नमस्कार व्यूअर्स आई एम डॉक्टर प्रतीक कुमार श्रीवास्तव वर्किंग एज एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एंड आई एस एफ कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी गोंगा एंड आई एम गोना टू गिव द टॉक ऑन द इंडस्ट्रियल फैक्ट फाइल एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक Uh, the industrial file fact is the combination of the three word uh, the industry fact and file but fact file is a all together is a one phrase the fact file means the most important information about the particular subject the information should be vital uh, and uh, the relevant for the example like uh, if uh, we say to the student make a fact file on a uh, lal bahadur shastri so it's mean that uh, they note down their uh, biography like where he born what his education what he contributed to the nation in a similar similar way if we are asking uh, to the student write a fact file about the prokaryotic cell they should write down the habit and habitat classification what they make the similarity and the difference with the their uh, similar organism or the their advanced organism like the eukaryotic cell and why they have been utilized or used as a genetic engineering very widely so here uh, today in our industry we go on to select uh, the pharma industry and on the behalf of the pharma product we segregate the organization in a two part the pharmaceutical organization and the biopharmaceutical organization in a pharmaceutical organization uh, they are responsible for the synthesize uh product chemical product like uh, generic product tablet capsule parental syrup allergic spray and in a biopharmaceutical organization uh, they are uh, producing a vaccine therapeutic proteins cell based product like regenerative medicine blood fraction and serum monoclonal antibody and car t cells biopharmaceutical organization also known as the biotech uh, organization so um, as uh, nowadays like it's in a very very boom and everyone is want to know uh, how to how, how the vaccine is uh, pre uh, pre 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 preparing inside the or, uh, industry so today i am going to take this uh, vaccine preparation and uh, uh, fact file about this uh, vaccine production so differences with, between the vaccine and the another uh, pharmaceutical product uh, is uh, like the vaccine we use for the prevention of the disease and with a pharmaceutical product we use for the cure thing of the disease in a vaccine government organization they involve uh, but in a pharmaceutical uh, agent uh, product the pharmaceutical agencies they are involved their their appearance are there uh, vaccine so vaccine having the very high manufacturing infrastructure but in a pharmaceutical it's a very medium requiring medium manufacturing infrastructure and marketing the marketing and sales uh, the government agency are the highly involved and uh, uh, so the their sales and marketing to the manufacturer is a very less uh, whether in a pharmaceutical uh, their sell is a massive and uh, it's prescribed by the physician or the or the expert person and <clears throat> and their uh, directly involvement of the organization so what is a vaccine so vaccine is a attenuated or the weakened form of the non infectious agent which derived from the known pathogen and uh, who can able to stimulate the immune system 
they can able to generate the antibody against this against this uh, pathogen and the vaccination or the immunization they involve the delivery of that particular vaccine and that particular vaccine they can trigger the immune system and generate the antibody inside the body once they deliver so other component uh, along with uh, this antigen attenuated antigen the adjuvant are there in a vaccine and some enzymes they also involve vaccine development is a very very hard process and uh, it's uh, it's taken a uh, decades to develop the appropriate vaccine and the cost is a, uh, yes very high yeah. so types of vaccine so widely or generally we uh, in in our surroundings we know the there is a five types of the vaccine live attenuated vaccine this is the whole organism vaccine inactivated killed vaccine this is also the whole organism vaccine and uh, it's been inactivated by the certain chemicals so it's named the inactivated uh, vaccine and the uh, maximum all of the bacterine vaccine uh, come under this category and some viral vaccine also they come under this category subunit vaccine uh, subunit vaccine is uh, uh, the subunit part of the disease causing agent uh, there is not the involvement of the whole organism and uh, the the par particle of the the, the disease causing uh, element that particle may be the protein peptide polysaccharide so it's named the subunit vaccine toxoid vaccine when bacteria attacks inside the body they generate some toxins and toxins are the harmful for the body so the inactivated form of the toxins uh, known as the toxoid and this toxoid can stimulate the immune system against that toxin so toxoid vaccine is a, uh, another category rna based vaccine uh, in rna based vaccine they are generally mrna vaccine which uh, tightly intact with uh, the lipid so uh, with uh, involvement of the lipid the uh, they can protect the mrna from the damage and uh, when it's deliver inside the body uh, beneath the membrane they have the capability to fuse with a, a cell because the membrane is also made up of the uh, polysaccharide or glycoprotein <clears throat> next is the form of the vaccine so there is two form of the vaccine one is a liquid uh, which is the adjuvant based and the another is the freeze dried it's also known as the lyophilized uh, form of vaccine vaccine is a is 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 for the all segment of the age uh, initially it's uh, known uh, that uh, only the neonat or the pediatrics they can only take the vaccine but now as the pandemic uh, is in our our uh, universe from one and a half uh, Uh, year so everyone now knows uh, um, right now uh, by the medium of of the 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 print or uh, the um, electronic like uh, the vaccine is for the every year so now the pediatrics adolescent adult and age and elderly person they all can take so there are the certain step in the involved in the development of the vaccine so uh, we need to prioritize the vaccine uh, like uh, uh, first we set the priority like uh, against which disease we are going to take uh, going to make the vaccine uh, that uh, disease is uh, the organism or the disease is the epidemic pandemic or the endemic 
and the how much mortality they are causing so these all all are the decided by the government or the government agencies once they once they decide uh, like uh, we need or our society need or our nation need uh, vaccine against uh, this disease then uh, uh, basic and applied research uh, start on that and a basic and uh, applied research uh, we isolate uh, that uh, organism from the infected area and uh, we characterize them in a characterization the involvement of the whole uh, genomic sequences uh, we study a lot uh, of, of their characterization and uh, we isolate the the microorganism and we attenuate them are up to the certain stages uh, attenuation uh, means uh, we need to select the vaccine candidate candidate once we uh, select the vaccine candidate uh, candidate uh, and the attenuation has been done then we go for the clinical evaluation uh, clinical evaluation one more thing in a basic and applied research the preclinical uh, research also involved so this uh, basic and applied research take a long time means the the, the uh, 50 to 60 percent of the whole manufacturing uh, process or the whole uh, manu uh, de vaccine development process and next it goes to the clinical evaluation the clinic for the clinical evaluation uh, we need a local authority or the government authority uh, approval and then we make uh, experimental batches for that <laughs> clinical evaluation and a testing uh, once it's uh, passed uh, on all the clinical uh, evaluation like uh, phase one two and three then uh, manufacturer apply for the license and the production and then it goes to the, the nation uh, for the vaccination The stakeholder involves in uh, in this uh, or the international organization, manufacturer, academic research institute, and regulators. So, how are uh, how the funding comes for the vaccine development? So, there are some uh, organizations they involve and they fund fund it. Yes, World Bank, uh, they are funding. Uh, for such type of the the uh, for the control of the disease uh, so for the vaccine the world bank they are always involved involved and uh, one more name uh, bits uh, bill and melinda gates foundation they also uh, give the uh, who's uh, funding for the vaccine development from donor country and government world health organization World Health Organization is a synonym of the vaccine also because most of the vaccine uh, they purchase and they make uh, some guideline uh, and a, regulate, a regulatory uh, guideline also. Some research agencies like some private research agencies or some government institution or the universities, private sector partner like uh, some other uh, organization of the pharma as well as uh, like uh, some other infrastructure uh, investor they also invest in this in this vaccine manufacturer yes uh, who, who is the next going to 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 involve in the manufacturing of the vaccine they also also fund this uh, uh, for this uh, purpose civil society and organization they also come forward and help like uh, one of the example is their uh, royal society of the britain implementing country government so uh, like uh, some organization like sarc organization or uh, g15 so such type of the organization forward and collectively they provide the the fund to the vaccine developers some international organization they involve in the regulation of uh, this uh, 
vaccine uh, development and the manufacturing so one is uh, some of them are the the uh, like uh, world health organization pan american health organization world trade organization international conference on the harmonization world intellectual property organization so exactly what they do they they make a more centralized procedure in a drug regulation harmonization of the regulation norms give the strengthening the regulatory authorities so uh, in the next segment uh, I'm, i am i am i'm taking the how to produce the vaccine uh, how we uh, start the production of the vaccine so in a production of the vaccine there is uh, some component of which uh, always uh, work uh, together with a main production uh, area or main production core facility uh, like the preparatory facility production facility a r and d facility uh, maintenance in and engineering department uh, warehouses so preparatory facility uh, in a preparatory facility uh, is a very important aspect of uh, any production area uh, area they uh, they prepare all the uh, all the things which needed uh, for uh, the development of the of the uh, production of or the development of the uh, process uh, like uh, for uh, in in my my point of view this is the most important uh, thing like uh, the people who is working there they are responsible for the the cleaning of the utensils uh, drying up those utensils wrapping them and uh, autoclave autoclaving them so so the personnel who is working there they should be the well trained and periodically their training program uh, should be conduct next is a production facility uh in a production the separate entry and exit area should be there for the personnel like once they get enter uh, after finishing the work work they must have out from the another another door door interlocking system uh, for the entry and the pass box and the exit door also so the interlocking system as we know they need the positive and combination of the positive and the negative pressure dedicated decontamination area so the decontamination area um, is uh, the known as the clean area and it should be class 100 uh, in a class 100 area we uh, exactly we proceed our antigen propagation uh, all the upstream bio processing and this area also known as the bio safety lab so so i uh, like uh, today many people are uh, aware about the bsl lab 3 uh, because it's in a news uh, due to the the c19 filtration labeling emulsify emulsification filling and the uh, lyophilization facility should be installed or uh, should be should be uh, be the part of the production area so there so that area should also be a clean area class 100 area area and the antigen cold store uh, store should be there quarantine cold store quarantine cold store means uh if we are uh, putting the certain uh, one uh, one type of the antigen in the cold uh, that cold area that should be dedicated for the only one production area means that uh, we cannot put the different type of the antigen in a one in a one cold area zone dedicated area vaccine labeling and packaging with the semi automatic labeling machines so i'm going to very quick uh, tell about the bio safety lab so bio safety lab uh, is a four type bsl1 bsl2 bsl3 and bsl4 
four. In a BSL one, the microbes they present, uh, and and this area should be segregated. Segregated uh, on the behalf of the biological agent and their risk. So BSL one, uh, they are uh, the non, they are non-pathogenic microbes. They are present there and they are not harmful. But in the BSL uh, two lab, they are microbes present there and they cause the human disease. It's mean that they are pathogenic and uh, infectious, like step, uh, step for Staphylococcus aureus. And hepatitis virus. BSL three lab. Uh, they are they are the you know, very uh, highly sophisticated lab, and uh, their hand uh, handling of the lethal microorganisms. So they can be uh, cause a disease, and they can be uh, spread by 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 the uh, inhalation also, uh, like the tuberculosis and the yellow fever. And such type of the lab, the government agency they involve, and the person who who are working there, they need to be immunized, uh, and uh, should be work in a PPE kit, and uh, filter uh, HEPA filter uh, should be properly installed there. BSL four lab is a very rare uh, rare lab, and it's uh, for dedicated to such type of the disease for which is a very lethal. And don't have the vaccine, uh, a vaccine. So this is totally dedicated to the research and development uh, for any, any uh, pandemic disease uh, microbes, which are very harmful for the society. Uh, and uh, like uh, the Ebola and Marburg viruses, viruses, they also have the uh, the HEPA filter facility. So BSL three and four, the HEPA facility uh, should be like uh, that. The air should be uh, come from the HEPA filter so vertically, and it goes out from the production lab horizontally. So the, the one of the ray diagram is uh, here in this slide. So next component of the production is the quality control. Uh, quality control is a uh, uh, a very important part of the any production lab, and in a pro in 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 a vaccine production, the quality control and the production unit they are uh, running parallelly one by one. Mean to say that once we uh, develop the antigen before uh, making the product or before formulation, we need to send that you know, send to QC. And uh, quality control department, they evaluate their inequality, safety, and potency, and they uh, give the green signal. Uh, after that, the the production people they go for the next step. It should have the separate uh, biological laminar uh, uh, hood, so it's dedicated to the uh, dedicated to the separate uh, microorganisms. Uh, uh, microorganisms like uh, the, the the antigen which we are producing in the production plant plant or the area. I mean, if uh, the, if that organization is producing the five type of the uh, micro uh, uh, vaccine, in the, so involvement of the five type of the microorganisms, so it should be five different laminar hood uh, dedicated to each um, microorganism or, or the each antigen. Dedicated labs uh, separately for the salmonella, salmonella and the mycoplasma testing, the sterility test lab, uh, chick embryo operation lab, environmental monitoring lab. They uh, it's uh, well equipped with uh, all these these, and uh, there should be also uh, one uh, department which can be uh, test the the chemicals uh, chemicals which are in uh, utilizing in the uh, production of uh, Vaccine and uh, packaging material also. So, so for the vaccine production, uh, we need an animal house uh, uh, also, and it's a uh, mandatory for the developer. So, uh, modern uh, animal house uh, should be there, and the CPCSEA generate a guideline. They already drafted 
so this is they are the committee of the purpose of control and supervision of the experiments on the animal and uh, they they keep the eyes and they are uh, they always uh, uh, al always dedicate to to the the ethical committee he documents they 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 drafted already some guideline so there are uh, all this ethical committee and how to how to uh, we use how to discard the discard the animal after the <coughs> the experiment all are the mentioned there classified environmental controlled area de dedicated fully isolated area for rearing immunization and the challenge experiment so for the immunization uh, uh, it's uh, fine like we can put uh, the uh, the animal all animals uh, with uh, in a under a one roof if we immunize immunize with a uh, one vaccine vaccine but when we are going to challenge against that uh, vaccine uh, to immunize uh, animal so after challenge Uh, with a crude microorganism of the that particular disease, we need to put them in on the another zone, another separate room. Animal house connected with the incinerators, so that after the after the uh, sacrifice or after the dead of the animal, uh, we can directly directly discard them. Engineering and the maintenance department. So, building management system, control air in, uh, air handling unit. Uh, they they are always uh, uh, should be there, and uh, because the air handling unit, they are one of the most important uh, aspect of the vaccine production. As I mentioned, we need the clean um, area, class hundred area. Uh, modern water treatment plant should be there. Demineralize and the reverse osmosis plant. Uh, standby generator and UPS for the continuous power supply and the critical operation. Boiler, pure steam generator, water for injection. Mm -hmm. Generator distributing loop with the continuous revolution. All utilities supplied to required area to the service pendant. Walkable false ceiling for the manufacturing and the testing area for carrying out the maintenance. Uh, nowadays, uh, nowadays it's a, it's a very very requirable uh, thing the walkable false ceiling. So generally, what happen uh, uh, what happen the any maintenance is required for the plant. Uh, the people maintenance people uh, go up to the the roof. And uh, on a on a walkable area, and they change there from the light or 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 need to clean the hub filter. They they clean from that area. Warehouse uh, plan to provide the spacious area, meeting the current good manufacturing practice requirement for raw material, packaging material, and the finished good sterility and non ester Uh, sterile dispensing area, cold room, dedicated hazardous material store, or are all part of the warehouse. So, in the next component, I will brief uh, discuss how to vaccine produce inside the plant. So, in a production, there uh, that there the involvement of the uh, to to uh, processing. Uh, the whole production divided in a two bio processing. One is the upstream bio production or bio processing, and another is the downstream bio production or the bio processing. In upstream bio processing, uh, it's a start involved from the preparation raw material up to the preparation of the antigen or can say collection of the Bulk of the antigen, it's come under the upstream bioprocessing. After the uh, once we collect the bulk, from there the filtration or purification of that uh, that uh, particular antigen 
inactivation and the final or to the final uh, product it's uh, come under the downstream bioprocessing so propagation of the antigen carried out in a two ways we propagate in a broth and propagate in a live cell all of the bacterians they propagate in a in a broth and uh, for the propagation we use the large conical fall flask or the table top uh, bioreactor or the big bioreactor while uh, viruses on the other hand viruses they involve in the in, uh, the the living cells and uh, they need their propagation uh, in a in a living cells so that uh, carried out in a that required the primary cell culture so primary cell culture uh, max, maximum we use the 10 days old svf egg and uh, we establish the primary cell culture another mode is the cell line uh, because sometimes the primary cell culture has the limitation they cannot do the uh, go for the subculture again and again so uh, but it they utilize some of the viruses are uh, very favorable they are very uh, good growing in a primary cell culture another is the cell line so cell line has the two types one is the adherent and another is the suspension adherent is the fibroblast or cells or uh, the epithelial cells also they are the um, they are also adherent uh, uh, cells and another is a suspension cell culture in a suspension cell cul culture lymphoblast type of the cells they come and the involvement of the another uh, source uh, source uh, that uh, the allantoic fluid Coelian tract membrane. They also involve. So for this, we use the specific pathogen-free eggs. We in inoculate the our, our uh, antigen in a uh, allantoic space, and after the propagation of the four to five days, we collect those anti those uh, allantoic fluid as an antigen. likewise we also uh, inoculate in a camp and after 4 to 5 days once the uh, virus uh, get propagated uh, we also utilize uh, in a current like membrane we use the pox mumps uh, where the allantoic fluid all of the influenza virus we need the allantoic fluid and we propagate in the spf eggs here uh, uh, in isf college of the college of pharmacy moma they also have uh, their uh, own uh, setup of the animal tissue culture lab and all the student they are to performing their experiment the required ex experiment in this lab so next is is how we use the inoculum to propagate so for the bacterians once uh, we take out the cryo tube or the seed from the cryo tank we need to rejuvenate that bacteria we that we cannot directly use in a production for the rejuvenation we need to isolate the single colony and after that uh, that's in uh, after the after the isolation of the single colony we pick the single colony and propagate that bacteria in a broth and prepare a, a small inoculum as per uh, requirement here on a each and every stage we need to send the sample to the qc for uh, for the the their efficacy and uh, their sterility because uh, they are very sensitive uh, due to the bacteria and uh, the another bac bacteria contamination uh, is always uh, uh, always on the on 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 the risk risk 
So likewise, we use uh, this uh, uh, broth in a propagation uh, propagation of this bacteria. On the other hand, the living cells which require the virus, we can directly use uh, during the cell culture culture and we can propagate them uh, when we are going to establish the cell culture once we get to collect the bulk collect the antigen we go for the purification so purification means we need to concentrate that uh, antigen according to the production protocol so we use the several uh, there are several ways uh, by the centrifugation or the uh, membrane filter or the chromatography column filter we can uh, filter those antigen bulk after the inactivation uh, step has come and in you know, we can do the inactivation uh, with a certain uh, uh, chemical and uh, another mode is also there like heat sonication gamma eradication uv light treatment but mostly or can say like 99.9 percent .9%, we are using the formalin and uh, the beta propiolactone for the inactivation of the bulk or the inactivation of the uh, pathogen So on the low temperature, uh, formaldehyde, they have the, the reversible uh, the reaction uh, property. On the low temperature, they can be a change in the pair of formaldehyde. So uh, before, before final blending, we need to neutralize the formaldehyde by, with the help of the sodium bisulfate. Next step is the formulation. Uh, for the formulation, we use the two type uh, of the formulation, uh, two type of the of the product uh, development, or uh, or the two type of the way to develop the product in a last in a last. Like one is need the emulsifier, and another is need the lipolization. Uh, for the emulsification is uh, uh, required by those where the adjuvant are involved. So adjuvant are involved in the bac bacterine production and the some inactivated viral vaccine. While the live attenuated live viral uh, vaccine, they require the lipolization. So <clears throat> here is the quick uh, recap: how to uh, we, uh, how, what are the steps involved in the the production of the bacterial vaccine. So start from the selecting of the stream of the vaccine production and it's also segregated in upstream and downstream up to the formulation of the vaccine. In the last we send it to the QC team for the quality control test and the uh, batch release. And uh, here's a, a summarization of the viral vaccine in a step. Uh, starting from the propagation of the antigen and the end with the lipolization or the formulation of the vaccine. And they also um, segregated in two parts, upstream bioprocessing and the downstream bioprocessing. And uh, in a last, uh, once we get uh, the product uh, done, sent to the QC, QC for the uh, lot release uh, and testing and uh, lot release. In another component, uh, I'm going to uh, like uh, tell like the, which agencies are involved in the development of the uh, uh, approval of the vaccine in India. So the first is that the CDSCO, Central Drug Standard Control Organization. They are responsible for the clinical development and the market organization authorizations. And uh, for the for this uh, like vaccine development, there's just two form are required. One is a, uh, 29 and another is the 28D. So main is the 28D 
under the 28D, uh, there are some another form has come, which I am going to take in the, in the next slide. slide. So this central drug uh, standard control organization, uh, they are responsible for the clinical development and the market authorization. After that, a state licensing authority has come and they are the solely uh, responsible for the uh, 28D. But, but they always work jointly with a, with a central authority. So they, uh, they, they also uh, give the first authorization for the production and first authorization of the form 28D. Next is a review committee of the genetic manipulation. They inspect the R&D and they are uh, responsible to study the pre, uh, evaluate the preclinical and the clinical data. General, uh, generally, they are responsible for the recombinant DNA vaccine uh, like hepatitis B human papilloma virus. Next is the uh, Indian Council of the Medical Research, ICMR, and they evaluate the clinical study which has been done uh, before the uh, large vaccine production batch. Another uh, uh, one uh, authority also involved, like they have the very, very prominent role in this vaccine approval, uh, named as the uh, Central Drug Laboratory. So these the uh, Kasoli, the uh, this lab also known as the National Central Laboratory for the testing of the immunologicals, and they are responsible for the vaccine and the another. Uh, biological product like the anti serum In the last subject expert committee and the technical expert committee, uh, they are, are the evaluate the preclinical uh, trials protocols and the QC report of the safety and efficacy. Simultaneously, they evaluate the periodic safety update report. So uh, here uh, I am with a with the help of the flow diagram. I am going uh, going to uh, to tell uh, very quickly how the manufacturer get the license, how the manufacturer uh, uh, get done the form 28D. So first we need to to fill the form 12 for the import the strain by which they are going to make the. Uh, the vaccine. Uh, once we get the uh, import the strain, we go for the uh, experimental batch vaccine for the test and the analysis. For that, we need to clear the form 29. And once we uh, get done the experimental batch, we uh, we we take uh, the approval for the uh, test test analysis for that. Uh, Manufacturer uh, uh, fill the form uh, 11, clear the form 11. Application of the manufacturing for the experimental test batch for the test analysis, they another need. Uh, this is the simultaneously, like there was the form 11, and here is the form 30. So, form 11 they need from the central authority, and form 30 they, they, uh, they need the clearance from the uh, uh, from the state license authority. After that, uh, uh, preclinical study testing of the three consecutive experimental batch uh, need to send the CDL Casoli for the consistency, efficacy, mm, yeah, efficacy, and they test uh, all this. That, uh, all, all these three batches have the similar consistency with the, each other. Application and the protocol for the conducting the phase one, uh, two, three clinical study. We need a uh, need, uh, manufacturer need to complete the form 44, and uh, uh, then they go for the clinical uh, trial permission and submission for of the clinical study report 
of the phase one and two with the indigenous manufactured experimental batch of the vaccine. Then uh, application of the protocol of conducting phase third, three uh, clinical study and the experimental batch of the vaccine. Market authorization application for uh, vaccine as per uh, CTD. So CTD is the con common technical document. And uh, next, the approval of the market authorization of uh, for a vaccine. Manufacturer need to uh, to complete the form 46. Uh, 46, and uh, it's come under the um, rule 122B, which is a Drug and Cosmetic uh, Act uh, 1945 subjected to, and need to uh, generate the. PMS study means post marketing surveillance study. So post marketing surveillance study they uh, they generally be based for for the efficacy and the effectiveness of the that particular vaccine vaccine and this also known as the clinical phase four trial. And once we all done, then get uh, uh, then uh, state licensing authority give uh, give the signature to the manufacturer on the form 28D, and then they move to the central licensing approval authority, and in a last day signature on the form 28D. So likewise, uh, they uh, get the approval for the manufacturing of the vaccine some regulatory inspection like uh, compliance to the schedule m is a precondition to grant or the removal of the license uh, license for the manufacturer of a vaccine cdsco and the state drug inspectors along with the expert from the cdl kasauli participate in a such inspection introduction of the risk based inspection approaches to all zonal office of the cdsco annual planner of the rbi planned by the quality assurance division of the cdsco headquarters new delhi so uh, this all about uh, for the fact file of the biopharmaceutical mainly based for for the for consider the 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 vaccine vaccine oh, hope uh, you people uh, enjoy this and some concept uh, definitely uh, uh, clear and if you have any any question, then you can uh, write me on my email ID prateek at the rate isfcp dot org. And uh, thank you so much for your time and attention.